Hello everybody and welcome back to Fiend Folio, last run we played as car. In fact, one second. Okay, we are good to go. I, I had car still installed. I don't need car installed right now. Anyways, let's do it. Oh, my little thing's slightly off center. I need to move it. Nope, nope, wrong thing. Ah, like this. There you go. Looking good now. Looking good. Okay, let's randomize our character. See who we might get today. Tainted Keeper, we've been playing him a lot recently. Let's just do an Eden run. Okay, I love a bit of Eden. Eden is very fun. Let's jump on in as him and see who we might get. See, I say see who we might get. See what we might get. As for today's question of the day, what is something that you like to treat yourself with? Ooh, okay, this is a tricky one. So D12's really good. Um, the chalice is interesting. So I think the way the chalice works is when we get hit, it fills up. If we go to the next floor without having been hit, we um, we take damage. So we kind of need to take damage on purpose if we don't take damage on a floor before we leave. Otherwise, we get problems. I don't remember exactly how it works, but it's something along those lines. But yeah, we also have the D12 too, which um, I really do like the D12. The, the reworked D12 for one has some really, really cool sprites, as you can see here with, um, with the new rocks. But also, just generally able to give you fool's gold rocks and the like so and do stuff like that and help us open up secret rooms which is really nice if these enemies actually need killing i didn't think about that okay i love the little dice it creates when you destroy the dice blocks okay good good Ooh, hello eternal fly what, what the hell actual eternal flies wait a minute one second here this is a very eternal fly. What the hell? This thing doesn't die. But like, if I leave the... This has got to be a bug, right? Because if I leave the room, this thing will... Let... Just go into the fire. Okay. That thing's just hella strong. Okay. Uh, we have got to be careful about those. Ooh. Uh, clear rune. We can't get to it. I, I don't even know if I'd want that. The D12 is so much fun right now. Um, we pop this and we get the D-pad. The D-pad still is showing up in item rooms when it shouldn't be. It's meant to be an item that you get for the analog stick in tinted treasure rooms. That's definitely a bug. But an item that I quite like, so pretty good. Um, whenever we see a little thing above our head, we get a little icon to press a button. And we press up. And we get a scaling down damage up for a short time. Pretty useful. Pretty useful. I'll check our shop real quick. Crooked Penny's kind of interesting, but... I don't need that right now. I realize I do have a um, library over there, but I don't think we've got anywhere to get into that right now. Right, we haven't been hit yet, so I probably should get hit at some point. This is a pretty hard boss. Okay, we did get hit. Nice. Oh my lord. We might just die to this guy, to be honest. I find this boss really hard. Especially that attack. I don't know why that attack specifically really gets me. It's the little dudes he spawns as well. Like, the little dudes cause issues. Okay, he's going to do his big boom. He goes boom. He goes into his other form. And then, yeah, this is the hard bit. So, he, he does his bomb, but he also starts raining tears from above, which is particularly quite tricky. That thing's not too bad, the bomb. It's the raining tears from above, because it means that you can't really stay near the top of the screen out of fear of being, like, randomly tapped by that thing. Okay. Randomly hit in the head. The missile is here again. We should be able to kill him beforehand, though. Okay, we got him. We did get hit at least once. Uh, we got the corn kernel, which I still never leveled up, which I'd like to. I don't know what specific bosses are under the corn kernel's influence. But anyways, let's uh, go down to the next floor. I might just stars card straight away, considering I don't have a key. Um, it kind of makes sense to me. And this thing lays some blood. And it gave us a black sack. Nice. So we'll pop these pills. Shot speed down isn't great. And health up. Health up is good. Good, 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 good. Jello is not really the sort of thing we're looking for right now. A good um, active item all around. That's definitely not what we're looking for right now. But yeah, we're not, not the sort of thing we want, really. I should have said that guy's going to walk into the fire and die. Oh, I took damage there. I don't really know what to. I wasn't really paying attention, I'll be honest. 
But yeah, as for the question of the day, I was kind of talking about it and then got kind of distracted. What's something that you treat yourself to? Because for me, I don't know. There's a few. Oh, I treat myself to a tears down every now and again. That's what I treat myself to. There's a few for me. Oh, dude, we are getting absolutely wrecked right now. Could I maybe, just maybe, get a little bit of assistance with some health, please? That would be really nice. Colonel? Okay, thank you. You did it. Hey, there's some health. Nice. Um, yeah, one of the things, it's kind of an odd one, but one of the things that I like, I don't even know if treating myself to it is the right way to phrase this, but I really like scotch eggs. <laughs> I don't know how many people have had scotch eggs. I know they're not like commonplace in a few other countries. So these eternal flies are going to be tricky again, aren't they? We really should try and blow up everything we can. I, okay, we can. I didn't really do much for us, did it? You see, it's all working out. Is that a tinted rock there? Kind of? It gave us a grey chest? I wouldn't really call that a tinted rock, but there you go. Okay, we got some decent stuff out of that. I'm, I'm reasonably happy. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more exploring. See what we can find. I'll go through this room first here. I definitely need some more HP. That's 100% something we need. We got a B on this floor, which I wasn't expecting. A few, few of these dudes. The um, waxy dudes are pretty tough because they create fires that you can't shoot through. And apparently they shoot fire, which is news to me. I didn't know they did that. Right, we can get out of here now. I don't. I, with the health I'm currently on, I don't want to risk going to too many other rooms. Let's destroy some of these fires here. Yes. In the hopes of that. Oh, beautiful. We're back on top, baby. And we got hit a few times, so our chalice has been filled a little more, which is really nice. Did we get the same boss two floors in a row? Is that a thing that can happen? I mean, apparently so. I did not know you could get the same boss two floors in a row. That is rather weird. Oh, God. I don't know why I wasn't expecting that thing to hit me, but... Dude. This guy's tricky. On to his next phase. Okay. Oh, dude. Bombing this guy is completely ineffective. Good to know. That did literally nothing to this dude. I mean, our chalice is almost full, which is nice. Yeah, this guy's tricky. I mean, his, his second phase does have very little health. Hey, we get the next level of this now. It's the first time getting to the second level. Um, okay, we keep going. Doing, uh, we're doing okay. It's weird to get the same boss twice in a row, I gotta say. Uh, this thing should give us quite a lot of stuff now. Uh, it gave us two black sacks that time. That's not a lot of stuff, but it's decent. Okay, so the Egg Boy is now um, firing out little explosive corn kernels. Oh, dude, I got hit again. It's okay, though, because we need to get hit at least once to fill our chalice. So I am wondering if we can get into secret rooms with this little lad. I would guess not, but we should try and find out. It doesn't seem to be destroying rocks, so I would assume not. Let's take out the easier of the two of these guys first, shall we? That hit me as well. Okay, it looks like we're not getting any angel or devil deals for the entirety of this run because my feeble brain is incapable. This is the cloud guy, right? We do have a rainbow poop there, which is rather nice. D12 coming in clutch. Okay, nice. I guess I'm just going to take the poops at this point, because... Uh, the pills, sorry, not the poops. Um, we got this thing to bomb out gaps. It's not great, I'll be honest, but I guess I'll take it. It does grant us five bombs as well, which is kind of nice. And it does give us the ability to get over some pits here and there. It also gives us a very nice visual of us wearing a little hat, which I, I really like. <laughs> 
cloud is going out. Okay. We've got really good money, I'll say that. We probably should have found the shop on the last floor. Okay, the... My character's looking great. The D-pad eyes. The hard hat on. The chalice fl flowing behind us. It's a good job I remembered what this chalice did, otherwise we'd be taking some damage from this thing. Uh, chance, um... Curse have a one and third chance to become eternal chests. Decent. Not very good with the amount of keys we have right now, but overall decent. Damn, you got me. I wonder what, like, how many hits I need to take to get the next level of reward. Whoa. See that, like, little hip-hop shot? Hip-hop shot that guy does. That's really cool. That's really cool looking. Grab that. Yeah, lots of explosive shots here. Just to protect the froggies, I guess. Apologies, I had to pause. I sneezed. <laughs> it's going to happen every now and again. Oh, excuse me. Shop is here. Is Oh, is this an enemy? That's an enemy. I did not know that. I thought that was a piece of scenery. Here we've got the blue candle. The blue candle would be objectively better than the D12. Um, but I'm really liking the D12 right now. I feel like it can provide us with so much... Interesting stuff in our run. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cherboy is taking a lot of damage. I'm hoping this guy drops a double red heart for us. He did. We also got a morbid heart. I think the morbid hearts, from what I've heard, are hearts that can take three hits of damage. So they're pretty good. Specky flies. Coming at me. The, these spiders coming at me. Eh. Get away. I wonder if we level him up again, he'll be able to destroy walls. That'd be good. I'm not sure how likely we are to be able to level him up again. Okay, I don't know what you two think you're doing. But I don't like it. Right. We, could, we should probably go and check out the other rooms. God, this room's busy. A little bit laggy. Okay, though, we're making our way through. But kind of low speed at the minute as well. Oh, God. I forgot about the explosive diarrhea. It's always a sort of choice between maximizing the amount of rocks and just using it in rooms where it seems reasonable to use it in. Like, you don't want to hold on to the D12 forever, but there is some rooms that are objectively better for, like, getting rainbow poops and all that sort of good stuff. Okay, it was kind of good we went this way, because we might get, uh, what does this guy draw? Oh, no, he dropped Anakin's cookbook, doesn't he? I was thinking it was Nine Lives, but that's his ultra version. Eh, it's a book, at least. It's at least a book. We'll take it. I would like to go to that cash room, but we don't really have anything supporting us, so... I don't want to do that yet. But yeah, back to my back to my incoherent ramblings about Scotch eggs. God damn, they're the best thing ever. But I feel like they're like they're like a treat. I like not as in like they're a sweet treat or anything like that, or something that's really unhealthy. They're not they're not hugely healthy, but more so that like they're a treat because like I, I I don't have them very often to make them better when I do have them. If you know what I mean. This is just the run of me taking a ton of damage, isn't it? Do, 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 do. Okay, we've got plenty of bombs. I'm just going to use a few here. Uh, but yeah, like, they're just kind of a treat that I like to have on occasion to make them better when I do have them. But goddamn, I'm, like, really craving one at the minute. And I haven't had lunch yet, so I think today is the day. I think today is the day. Oh, God. We've lost our soul heart now. We've still got our morbid heart. I think they're called morbid hearts, at least. We get a stapler, though, which is pretty good. And honestly, a devil deal at this point I kind of want to go for. Mmm, that's tricky. That is tricky. Um, I will take Dark Bum and not feel great about it. Flight and speed up. I'm going to take that too. I'm playing it risky, but we do have a Morbid Heart to support us. So I really wanted the speed, but also the flight's really nice too. Um, okay, let's get gone. We are going to get some stuff from our sack here. Getting to this low health is very risky now because we do have the um, 
E, nice. The issue of the fact that we have to get hit each floor at least once. So getting down to really low health isn't a great idea because now I have the, the issue of having to get to even lower health before I go to the next floor, otherwise I might die. I was going to keep that at the top of my head. Ooh, very, very good. What the hell hit me then? I don't even know. But we got hit at least, which uh, helps with our chalice. I still love the rework of these uh, these sins. They're so good now. That's all about your creep. You bad gas me. Yum heart. Damn. <laughs> Pretty useless for us. But the void locust, really good. Giving us a random locust each room is really nice. Even if it is just one. The chance to get explosive locusts is reasonably high. Not completely zero. Don't know who I need to be focusing on here. Honestly, the big guy probably. Definitely we're lacking stats right now. Uh, we did just get a stapler for a damage up, but our fire rate, we got a fire rate down. So it's not in a great spot. Ops case is decent here. We're really sitting pretty with our bombs right now. I'll say that for sure. It's a shame these large rooms are just so laggy. Like, it'd be kind of nice to have a mod that just removed large rooms from the game. Just because... They are by far the laggiest, but at the same point, they do, like, they do add a, like, a nice nice extra touch to the gameplay, so maybe wouldn't want that. I don't know. Yeah, I like the, the, the sort of rework to these enemies to drop the little yellow spiders. It makes them a little more deadly, and because normally they're really not that hard at all, but now they actually drop a, a pretty substantial amount of spiders rather than just one, which I, I prefer. Makes more sense than dropping the trites, because the trites, for one, are horrible. For two, didn't really make much sense. Okay, we do have a dice room here. We'll check out the dice room. Oh, damn it, the room had more stuff in it. I didn't expect that. Honestly, a six room would be pretty, pretty good right now. Okay, let's let's check out the rest of this floor, but but I think a six room is pretty pretty good for us right now. This runs decent, but not great. Like, honestly, I'm not holding. Oh god, we're about to die. Like, I'm not holding onto anything dearly in this run. Careful of this dude, because he does his little hippity hop shots. I love these dudes' little. Rage feet. The, that is one thing I've, I, I I constantly keep saying about Finfolio, but it always needs to be reiterated. Just how crazy, crazy good the animations are on all these enemies. Regardless of how they play gameplay-wise, like some of them are good, some of them may not be. I don't know. It, it depends on your personal flavor. I think most of them are pretty decent, to be honest. But the one constant is that all of them just have absolutely flawless animations that just go above and beyond what the base game provides. It's it's insane how high quality they are. Uh, burn spares is another thing I'd be willing to reroll and grab a random card. Oh, I can see all the cards. God damn it. I should actually look what we got here. Should have gone for the moon. Right. Arcade. We do have a D8 there. Potential to get that going. This is what I wanted. Damn it. I was about to say, if I had the D12 ready, it'd be good, but it's going to be ready after this, uh, after completing this room, so let's not worry about it too much. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed out on my damage boost there. Like, large rooms like this aren't so bad. I don't know why large rooms like this are way less troublesome. Ooh, I like the noise these guys make. Or the gurgly noise. Be careful of the bubbles. The bubbles are, uh, are like an archetype of enemy or whatever that I find really tricky. I should not have done that while sitting over the top of one of the rocks there. Um, okay. Did we get anything worthwhile here? Hmm. Kind of? Where's the gold? Okay, there it is. Golden Penny's going to be an absolute pain, isn't it? I don't know where it's gone anymore. Oh, you bugger. Okay. 
We are literally one hit away from death now. So let's quickly go in here. Buy a soul heart. Buy this. Goddamn stupid herming fires. I'm gonna leave that, that coin there for now. Let's go re-roll our run. <laughs> Hope for HP. Hope for HP. We got the toy chest, which I really like. We got more of the void, which is insanely good. Uh, we got kidney stone, we got the keeper's sack. We got some good stuff here. And this is really good too. So we have Burn Penny, Mitosis, Two of Coins, and Apple of Sodom. Apple of Sodom probably isn't the best to have um have smelted to us, but it's not terrible either. More of the void is by far the best thing we got here. What hit me then? I didn't get any health out of this though, which is problematic. And I, yeah, with Apple of Sodom, I don't really have any way of getting it. <laughs> I got Golden Mitosis. I don't know if Golden Mitosis does anything. Is it Mitosis? Is that what it's called? The one that brings all the stuff with you to the next floor. Okay, there's a Red Heart here. And Apple of Sodom didn't proc. Nice. Get ourselves a luck penny there. Cracker Jacks is good. Nah, Blind Range isn't super useful. Okay. Let's pull your head out on me. We did lose our D12, sadly. I was expecting that. Sometimes you don't lose your active and sometimes you do when you reroll. I think the six rooms more than the one rooms tend to get rid of your active. I don't know why that is, but that's always been my experience at least. Okay, nice. More of the void is going to be absolutely huge for us damage-wise. Because right now our damage and fire rate are pathetic. Especially our damage. Goddamn, even more of the void's damage is pretty pathetic. Okay, we do have the, uh, the, the, is it Slippy's Heart or something? The one that makes us fart whenever we're near enemies. Pretty decent. Nice. Damage up is good. We need significantly more on the damage up side. Yeah, so far this run is, is kind of on the rocks, so to say. Oh, but curved horn, baby. That helps a lot. Also a golden pill and a Hierophon. Okay, that was insane. Maybe the golden version spawns more stuff because, yeah, I don't know where these came from. Temesis. Cyanide. Cyanide. Oh, damn. Much you larger. Speed up shot, speed down. LSD. Look down, relax, power pill, kill Stompy, range down. Okay, we didn't get too much good stuff out of that, but we didn't get too much bad stuff either. Okay, this is slight. Okay, that enemy can't be killed. This is a very, very concerning room. For one, LSD is making everything very, very dangerous. Okay, I do not like this. Ghosty, come, come over here. Okay, that was a tricky room. I'm very, very surprised I didn't get hit. But we we now have decent damage. We did get a tier size down from one of those pills, I think. Ugh, not very good, but honestly, better than nothing. I like the way the, any, the enemies target it. That's really nice. Didn't manage to do anything for us. Oh my god, because his LSD stop. It's so... It hurts my brain. I hope they rework the LSD effect. Decreases your iframes when hit. When you're hit. Wait. Is that a permanent decrease? Okay, it wasn't a tier size down. It was an iframe down. I wonder if that's a permanent decrease or if that's just like for one room sort of thing. I always thought it was for one room. Fork, no thank you. I'll come deal with the brains while you uh you lot go and fight my, my body over there. Did it kill you all? I'm surprised if it did. It did. Wow, okay. Probably should have saved that key for the shop, really. Damn. 
damn. Give me keys, please, game. Do I have, um... I do have Guppy's Tail. I thought I might. I was getting a lot of chests. Ooh, we did mega farts then. Holy. There's a key. Wait until Kidney Stone stops real quick here. Let's go to our shop and see what we can get. Reckon we can get some good stuff from there. I'd like to get, like, Mum's Key or something. 4.5 volt is pretty good. Not with the active we have right now. Ooh, I just remembered. We should be buying a lot more stuff here because we have, um, keep a sack. Buy everything. I'll open this up as well. E gave us another key. Which gave us an eternal penny. Hell yeah. Is there any items that increase the chance of those ethereal or eternal pennies? Whatever you want to call them. Also, we've got the burn penny too. So we're getting burn fragments for every penny we collect, which is pretty nice. This seems like an XL flaw. There's a lot going on. I'd like a better active here. This seems like a good place for a bomb. I meant for a secret room, but you get me. You get me. Okay, that's decent. Oh, I love these little roundabout dudes. Oh my god, I forgot that guy got reworked into the coolest thing ever. Whoever made that rework mod, you are just a genius. Oh, mod damage is perfect. Our damage is actually sitting at a really good spot now. I um, I think the, the Keeper Sack shop purchases did quite a lot for us then. I'm going to go to some of these extra rooms around because I think... I think trying to get as many keys as we can is going to be really, really useful for um, opening all these chests that we're finding. I love the noise that guy makes whenever he fires. It's so satisfying. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It's so deep. Okay, we got one of these scary boys. He shouldn't be alive for long. The scary boys are maybe a little too common. I like one of those things where they kind of shit you up if they don't happen very often. But if they happen all the time, they don't really shit you up at all. Wooden chests, I think, are worth. For one, that in that was an insane amount of loot from two wooden chests. We already have Mum's key. <laughs> I was like, oh, we might need Mum's key. I already have Mum's key. That explains some things. Go away, pins. Okay, nice. Okay, let's take some pills. Look down, great. Relax, whatever. Shot speed up, good. I feel stompy's fine. And then what we got? What was this thing here? Spawn three golem trinkets. Um, I don't see that being super useful right now. Because I, I think I'm going to probably keep curved horn. But I guess I'll pop it and see what we get. Tears up. Chance to fire a tear that makes enemies magnetic. Um, extra tears and fire a... Single weak tier when a tier is fired. Increments its angle each time. What the hell? What does that mean? I don't really know. Also, how much? So that's a... Eh. The decent tiers. So I don't think that's going to be super good for us though. We got the Queen of Clubs. Queen of Love. Nice amount of bombs there. Emperor and Chariot. So I think we do the Emperor now. Mr. Frederick. Oh, damn. That actually hit me. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, did you manage to duck out the way of my lad there? I think you did, didn't you? Don't duck when it explodes. Okay, good. We got him. Hey, that was so worth it. Pentagram, thank you. And I think I'll take the sun card. We've also got a invoke the D7 effect card up there. We don't need that right now. Yeah, I think I'll I think right now I'll I'll take the sun card and use it for the next floor. The roly head. Does the roly head destroy rocks? That's kind of interesting. I think we're good to go. Cage boy here. 
This, uh, having this guy on such a high recharge is pretty good because it does, it does detract damage from us if they shoot it. And also, um, on top of that, it just does a good bit of damage on its explosion. Anyways, down we go and we'll stun card straight away here. Feel it is the only way. Okay, we didn't keep everything like I thought from last time. I don't know where the uh, golden pill and the um, curved horn came from then. I really don't. I don't know if that was a weird bug or the game just treated me to something. I, I have no idea. Ooh, I love those little ring enemies. Unknown. Black hole? Hmm. I think we go with black hole. Just because it's going to be better on recharge. And then we go for an item on reroll here. Bag of Bobbies. Has a chance to spawn a fragile Bobby. Eh. Bag of Bobbies is interesting. But let's go for something a little a little different, shall we? A little more run defining. It's like Spinning Wheel, for example. Um, Does Spinning Wheel fit in with the stuff that we're doing right now? Spinning Wheel's always a bit crazy. Hmm. Nah, we'll roll spinning wheel. Ah, I regret it. I regret it. Spinning wheel's a lot of fun, but it didn't really fit into our room right now. Basically, what it does is when you start, when you hold fire for a certain amount of time, you start firing at a much, much higher fire rate, but in a 360 degree around you. It's kind of insane. Rooms like this look so much better in Fiend Folio. That was close. Uh, excuse me? Oh, there's still a button over here, I see. Those enemies I still think need a lot of work. I don't think they're great right now. They're from Ipecac. That is one thing, by the way. Ipecac does add some new enemies. I did try to turn them off in the settings. There is a setting to turn them off. But right now, that setting is just not working. I might report that to developers. They probably already know about that. But I would like to dis disable the Fiend Folio enemies. Sorry, the um, Ipecac enemies for now because we're using Fiend Folio. I'd like just the content from that mod rather than the enemies. Just because, like, I feel like the, all the Fiend Folio enemies are quite cohesive and make sense together, whereas obviously the Ipecac enemies, some of them don't fit there the Fiend Folio theme as well. And some of them aren't as well polished, so I think it's a better idea to disable them if we can. But I might not be able to. Anyways, are we going to be able to get a key here? We are getting... So many chests and no ways to open them. Still don't know what those enemies do. I've killed them really quickly every single time. Okay, managed to get rid of you. Whoa, what's this tombstone, dude? There's a key. We definitely want to go to shop because Keeper's Sack is going to be very lucrative. If we can buy a, a, like at least an item or two. We got ourselves beginner's luck. Plus five luck. A minus 0 0.5 for how many floors down you are. Okay, so we'll get a little bit of luck out of that. 2.5 right now. That's decent. Take restock. I should have done that the other way around. Maybe buy another item, but hey her. Whatever. We got some stats out of that. That's rather nice. We'll get an additional key here, to be honest. We should uh, pop one of these chests open. Because it's always worth doing it because you might get another key. Also, our health is looking very, very nice right now. Okay. Good old depths copy room. So many bombs, goddamn. I've not really been using this that much. I probably should be using it more. Cyanide again. Cyanide just takes her a red heart and gives you a black heart. It's pretty good. It's not the same as the Fiend Folio Cyanide, which is much more deadly. Okay, nice. Um, we can go whichever path we want here, but I think we go Dark Path. Enraged Soul. Double tap shooting launches a ghost familiar in the direction you're shooting. The ghost will latch onto the first enemy it collides with, dealing damage. Um, that, okay, cool. That's a second, seven second cooldown. I like it. You can go, wah! Launch that ghost at people. I like having Repentance Plus and if I cack on, it's fun. Very fun.
Yeah, rooms we don't understand or don't know. Let's pop this. Oh, hello there, big lad. I should kill you pretty quick. It'd be cool if you could, like, bomb into, like, these areas and get something out of it. Holy. Like, you had to fight some more worms or something or maybe another one of those enemies, but you got, like, a little bit of extra loot. It'd be pretty cool. Ah, soul heart there. We do have a web heart as well, which I'm not really sure what's the point in being able to get web hearts as regular characters. They just seem like bad hearts because they don't really give you many fly uh, many spiders or anything. Or, or I don't even think it gives you the special ones either. No, thank you on that. Oh, damn it. I didn't quite ch charge up enough. Okay. Kidney stone is really good with... um. What's it called? More of the Void. So it automatically activates More of the Void. And also, we're already charging it, so we're already kind of ready to be waiting for something to charge. So it doesn't put us off too much. Kidney Stone can be a little bit off-putting. Whoa, that enemy was cool. We have more keys. 100%. There's another key in here. Wait a minute. Where is this? I need it. There it is. Gotta have those keys right now. A character is looking... Mighty ugly right now as well. Mighty ugly. Oh, but yeah, after this, I think I'm gonna go get, go get myself some lunch, and then I've got a bit of a stressful rest of the rest of the day. It's Friday, which is always nice, but I uh, work is just hella busy right now. You guys might have noticed that Court of the Lamb stopped for a little bit. That's not because I dislike the game. In fact, I love the game, but just not had a time to record any series past, like, Isaac and Gungeon, to be honest. It's been a bit tricky managing it all. Flat damage up, good. What is it with the things saying flat one damage up and then giving me 0 0.59 damage? Like, what, what, what's that about? It's just rude. Like, that's not a flat one damage up. You call it a one damage up. Don't call it a flat one damage up. A flat one damage up means it should give you one damage regardless of your multipliers, regardless of what character you're playing. If you have soy milk, it still gives you one damage. That's, that's what I would say is a flat one damage up, in my opinion. But yeah, life has just been busy, and it's, it's a bit stressful. But luckily, I got this to calm me down and just chill out for a bit. Really? Open up that chest, get all this loot. Not a single key pops out of that thing. There you go, three keys, that's more like it. Morbid heart there, lovely. We got a thingy here, D6. We can play this guy a little bit and see what we get. This guy can like reveal rooms on the map and like give you different uh, dice effects and stuff. That's a teleport to our boss. He gave us echo chamber. Okay, all right then. Wasn't expecting that, and a teleport straight to our boss is awesome. I don't know why Echo Chamber is one of like one of my only items that's still animated. Like I don't use the animated items mod just because I found it a little laggy, and for some reason Echo Chamber is still animated. I don't really know why. Okay, we're going down. I I honestly don't know how useful Echo Chamber is gonna be this late into the game, but we might be able to find a use for it. Got an extra soul heart there. Good, good. I have to say, the game's like it's like holding up really nice. We're at 57 FPS right now, just standing, which is a little bit lower than norm. Obviously, not almost 60, but like in a room like this, this is a um, pretty taxing room. And we're still at like 40 something, 45. It's pretty decent. And then in the regular rooms, we're still stuck at like 55. Let's like check it in this room. Yeah, we're at 46 in this room. Not great. Oh, we're at 48, 48. Did you not, sir? It kind of varies room to room and, like, how, what's going on in the room. Like, this room's 55. For the most part, it's pretty, it's pretty stable. See, that said 0 0.3 damage, and it gave me 1.47. What the hell is this all about? Game's boxed. Look at this assassin, dude. Oh, ho, ho, he's so cool. 
He's so damn cool. I love anything with like scythes or assassins or whatnot. Okay, I forget we have to fight a bigger, badder version of the Fallen now. I doubt that missed. And we have to fight hard Satan as well now. Satan fight that's actually tough. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought we'd see the day? Oh, and also, he doesn't actually spawn bomb leeches anymore. What a great rework. Right, next floor. See what devil deals we might get. Sinister Sight is really good. The rest of these can be rerolled. They, they, they did not get rerolled into Devil Deals. I always forget about that. I think Sinister Sight is homing. I can never remember. Yeah, it is. It is. Good. You chill out, fella. What's going on with the back? Is the backdrop always black or is that bugged? I swear it's not always black. Oh, I love herming with more of the void as well. So good. Laser. Not too hard at all. We need to kill the little scythe there, but Herming will deal with that. I'll take one of those. Hey, it was worth it. I got my I got my health back straight away. I could probably keep that and gain some health for the boss fight, but I don't think it's super necessary. Interesting to see that those eyes don't disable after the room's finished, like the grimaces do. I was, I was like, what's left in this room for me to do? And then I realized there's uh, buttons we need to be pressing. Monster Zuma's Revenge is a good one for charging up as well. Pentacles is very good, but probably irrelevant at this point. I walked directly into something. I have zero idea what. Monster Zuma's Revenge with the purple homing is quite nice. Oh, hello. What the hell were they? My Reflection. An item that gets nowhere near enough love, in my opinion. I think it's really good. And you can see why right there. Look at that. That's beautiful. People people think this item's trash. What's, what's wrong with you? Oh, God. I took so much damage in this room. And doing Monster's Revenge, I did not realize. It charges at the exact same rate at, uh, as, um, what's it called? More of the Void. Which is very awesome for us. Look at that, that's so cool. Peeper's eye to finish it off. To be honest, we should do like fine on this because we've got um, black hole with 4.5 volt. We should be able to keep a black hole alive at like literally all times. Just about. There you go. Nice easy kill on this guy. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. A very fun run indeed. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.